508 is the time. Let's get back over to Jeff. Yeah, uh, and we'll have our own little menorah here in the Weather Center come uh, the oh, weekend. We're good. So, yeah. Oh, uh, Wednesday morning, we had snow covered roads through government camp and most of our mountain passes up in the Cascades. But this morning, it's just wet roads as showers pass through. That snow level has uh, risen quite a bit, up to about 7,000 feet. I know you will, uh, we have a lot of uh, snow enthusiasts watching, uh, hoping for a good ski and snowboarding season. Unfortunately, we are going to have quite a bit of snow melting away this weekend. I'll explain why in a second. But right now, we're in the upper 30s to the low 40s around the mountain pass and a water view shows most of the showers winding down as they work their way to the south and to the east, uh, leaving just a few spotty showers around the metro area in other parts of northwest Oregon and southwest Washington. There's that area of low pressure in a cold front that was bringing uh, the showers to us overnight. That's starting to work its way off to the east. We're kind of in between weather systems at this point. The next one is well offshore, but it's going to be sending quite a bit of cloud cover into the region today, leaving us with mostly cloudy skies, not a lot of sunshine on tap. And most of those showers now are working their way off to the east of uh, western Oregon and southwest Washington. Today, I can't rule out a few light spotty showers maybe falling in the form of drizzle. Otherwise, expect a mostly cloudy day west of the Cascades. Our weather is going to turn wet once again once we get into Saturday by the mid to late morning. Uh, this is going to be linked to an atmospheric river that will be mostly focused to our north. We'll be on the southern end of this system. That's going to leave us with just a few passing showers from time to time during the day Sunday. Sunday is going to turn out to be a better day than Saturday to be outside. Our conditions turn wet. Sunday night into Monday morning, but by Monday afternoon, our weather is going to be drying out once again, and hopefully it'll stay dry for several days. At least that's what most of our computer models are showing. Snow depth this morning at uh, Ski Bowl is ranging between uh, about four to eight inches of snow uh, between the uh, upper bowl and uh, the lower bowl in government camp. Timberline has about 16 inches of snow on the ground, and Meadows has about 14 inches at the base, but we are going to be losing snow. That uh, precipitation moving through uh, between today and the weekend is going to be falling mostly in the form of rain down at the mountain passes because that snow level will only fall to about 6,000 feet and will kind of bounce back and forth between about 6,000 feet to 8,000 feet, which leaves us with a lot of rain that's going to be falling and melting away a lot of that snow at the, at the ski resorts. Today, though, a few light showers are out there this morning. We'll end up seeing a mostly cloudy day, a few sun breaks from time to time. Highs will end up in the mid 50s with some spots of drizzle possible this evening and the rain ramps back up on Saturday with frequent showers, just scattered showers anticipated on Sunday. Highs this weekend are going to climb into the upper 50s and then the rain kind of winds down by Monday morning, leaving us with mainly dry weather Monday afternoon, possibly through Thursday, although a few models out there are indicating, yes, we could see a shower or two around Thursday. All in all, though, we're looking at much better weather next week, drier weather at least, uh, with highs remaining in the 50s. Guys, back to you.